he said, so I, when I started with Bitcoin, Bitcoin was a hundred dollars almost exactly. And what? 2012, something 2013. Like okay. I, I was going to start mining in 2012, fall 2012, but, um, here, I'll talk about the arms race a little with mining. Yeah, this will be a little rabbit hole. Um, when Bitcoin, I told you earlier that Litecoin was, it was just a tweak of the Bitcoin network. It changed the block time. What that means is that um, the, the network targets for a new block to be found about every 10 minutes for Bitcoin. But it's not like a hard, it's not like a hard, um, it's not like uh, this happens every 10 minutes. It's a target. It's how fast right. the computers can do it, right? Exactly. Okay. So a lot of times what happens is a computer will get lucky and it'll find it in two minutes or something, you know? And, and so over the course of two weeks, it wants, it, it checks to see if the average is 10 minutes. And if it's not, what it'll do is it'll either make the puzzle harder or so, or, or, or easier depending to, to make it 10 minutes. So if, and pretty much, all the time, it's always been getting harder because computers are getting faster and faster and able to find it faster and faster. So mm -hmm. if you... So the faster the computers are, the more height, like the more complex they're encrypted? The the harder the... If you want to think about it this way, the bigger the haystack gets, right? For finding the needle in the haystack. Right. So if you get a machine, yeah. if you imagine this machine that gets... It's 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 kind of good at finding needles in a haystack. And, you know, you can have a little small haystack. It'll take it 10 minutes and then it'll find it. But if you have this like industrial hay sorter machine that can just gobble that through that in right. two seconds right. and find the needle, then it just needs to make a bigger stack. So it started off, you could just mine Bitcoin on, on your laptop. Mm -hmm. Like anybody could mine it. Mm -hmm. um, but then uh, people figured out that uh, if you used uh, GPUs, graphic, graphic process processing units, mm -hmm. so like you know, video cards, uh, you could get pretty efficient performance and it was like a order of magnitude better at solving the puzzle. And so then people who had CPU, you know, just doing it with their laptops weren't really able to do it anymore because the, the GPUs were so good at it that, that the, the algorithm had to make it harder. So like if you had your little CPU, you know, it'd be like one guy looking at this giant haystack, you know, uh, to go through and, and he wouldn't be able to, but if you had the GPU, it could, power through it and do it in 10 minutes. And then um, what came out next was FPGAs, field programmable gated arrays, field programmable gate arrays. Anyhow. Um, and those, uh, those lasted a little while. They're basically just uh, like uh, highly adaptable programmable circuits. You can, you can sort of specialize things for. Um, so they're very good, like specialist chips. You can program them to do all, they, they're used in all kinds of industries for all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. um, but then shortly after those came out, the ASICs came out, application specific integrated circuits. Basically, these are CPUs that are designed to do just one thing and they're designed to do them really well, special built, custom built. And um, these were supposed to come out in like the fall of 2012. And there was this one company that, was developing them or putting them out called Butterfly Labs. I almost hate to give them a plug because they ended up being huge scammers, but um, they're not around anymore, so it's not a big deal. But so in fall of 2012, when I was looking to get into mining, I was going to get some GPUs and build some computers and whatever. But these Butterfly Labs guys had built all these, or put out all, all these Google ads. Like, I don't know how much they paid on Google ads, but literally any time I searched for anything, uh, Bit, you know, Bitcoin mining related, their ads were everywhere. And these ASICs were like an order of magnitude more efficient than the GPUs. So I'm like looking at all these profitability calculators. Okay, if I buy this GPU, you know, it'll pay for itself in like a year or something like that. And then you're looking, then this ad pops up and you're like, oh my God, if, if this thing comes out, it would pay for itself in like three days. You know, you pay a thousand dollars for it or five hundred dollars for it. And then it's so fast that in three days of mining Bitcoin, you would get $500 worth of Bitcoin. Mm. Uh, but then they just, so I was like, well, I'm just, I'll just wait until they come out and there's no point in getting my GPU gear ready. And so, uh, but then they didn't come out, they didn't come out, they didn't come out. And then it was like 2013. Uh, they still hadn't come out. 
or they well they still hadn't been delivered. Um, they were out there. It turned out that what Butterfly Labs was doing is, yeah, of course, like if they have the heart, it's like the Cantillion effect I was telling you about with uh, the person that has the money first. Uh, they, so they had these miners that could mine like ridiculously fast first. Like they were the first guys. So they're like, well, you know, they need to have a burn-in period, right, where they're tested or something. Right. So they would run them. They would they would they were running them at their facilities. And then uh, that would cause the the network hash rate to go up a lot, like the, you know, because they were really powerful. So that meant that the the haystack was getting bigger. And then once the haystack had gotten big enough, then they would send them to the customers that paid for them. Wow! So they would make a ton of money. Oh off my that. god! So what a, a scam! Big, yeah, and ASIC companies still do. That. It's still that way that you need to be, whatever the next generation ASIC is, the closer you are to the, like the hardware manufacturer. Like, cause literally if you order one making a profit, it could like getting it next week versus the week after next could be the difference between you breaking even and making money or you never really recouping because your, of how fast they're advancing. Well, because of how it's not just the advancement. There's also, you know, if, if you manufacture a bunch of these, like it's a, it, you know, there's strength of numbers too. So the mm -hmm. more you have looking right. Mm. the more odds there are that somebody's going to get lucky and find it faster, you know? So, right. So they're mass producing these things too. But that's, that's why instead of getting in, in 2012, when Bitcoin was like $20 or $12 or something like that, I ended up getting in. Finally, I, I just, it was March, I think, or no, F January, February, 2013, the price started going up and I was like, man, I missed the boat. I, I should have started. I should have started, mm -hmm. uh, Mining, I should have just said forget it and bought the computers and mined and and uh, yeah, I remember like a year later after I'd been mining for a while, I remember I was looking, I was trying to like troubleshoot something, and I, I looked through this, uh, I was looking through this forum, and it was a post from like yeah mid late 2012, and this guy was like, oh, guys, I'm only made, I've got this this GPU, which is the exact GPU yeah. I had. Because I was trying to f troubleshoot that one GPU, he's like, "Oh, there's one. I'm only getting one Bitcoin a day. What am I doing wrong?" One and, Bitcoin a day. Yeah, and, and 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 at that time, that would have been a fantastic return because Bitcoin was a. When I was reading it, Bitcoin was like two hundred dollars, and so that would have been like two hundred dollars a day off that one little GPU if you if you'd help me.